Welcome back everybody, this is Bulldog here and today I'm going to talk talk about a topic that will interest everybody and that is how you can increase your earnings by changing when you play. So this is something that I've actually talked about on my live stream multiple times and but I know not all of you watch my live stream or maybe you weren't watching the live stream at the exact points that I talked about it or maybe you just had questions. So we're gonna go into more details. I'm gonna show you like exactly like hour by hour examples of, of how we can build our schedule to actually take advantage of the way capture rate works and the way the quests work, okay? We're essentially going to play every other day instead of playing every day and we're going to, our inc we're going to increase our earnings. So first let's talk a look at, let's take a look at the quest here, okay? Because that's kind of a, a big, Big deal is understanding when the quest reset. This is also a very common question I get because sometimes on my live stream, I can get two quests done back to back and people are like, whoa, how'd you get two quests? What are you doing? Is it magic? No, it's not magic. It's just the way the quest works. So quests are available after 23 hours after it started and it's been, and it's been completed. So to say it a different way, as I've typed it here, new quests are available after the previous one is complete and 23 hours have passed since the start of the quest. I should add that in there, since the quest started, not since it, since it started. So if it's been over 23 hours and you complete your quest, a new one is available immediately. Now you don't really want to do this because that will delay the start of the quest after that. And you'll kind of lose a little bit of time in there and that will ultimately over the long run cut down on your total quest rewards. But we can we can kind of use this to to our advantage okay so the, you've got it gives you a little bit of leeway with when you complete your quest because you can kind of kind of group them together and do some back to back so let's uh let's get in here let's look at the the next slide here but here's how we're going to play every other day and and take advantage of this to maximize our earnings and what we're actually going to do we're going to keep our in-game um our battle rewards the same but we're going to decrease the cost of renting cards and increase the the or the income we get from renting out cards, okay? Even if you don't have a lot of cards to rent out, it, it doesn't matter. Almost everybody's going to be able to take advantage of this. Even if, you, if you're renting everything, if you're not renting anything at all, all sorts of players are going to be able to take advantage of this. So here's how it goes. You rent your cards for a day. You complete two quests within 24 hours. Within 24 hours because you get your rentals for 24 hours, right? So you want to make sure your, your quests are staggered so that you can complete one. And then so kind of completing one at the end of the 23 hour cycle and another one towards the beginning of the 23 hour cycle. You're going to drain your energy capture rate down below at least 75%. A lot of times you'll need to drain it a lot more depending on how long it's going to be until you play again. 25% is, you get 25% back in one day. So that's kind of the minimum because you never want to go, you never want your energy capture rate to be at 100%. If you guys are confused on ECR and what all that means, I've got a whole separate video on that. You should, you should go watch that, but you never, you never want it to get to 100%. And as long as it doesn't get to 100%, you're never losing, you're never losing anything. It doesn't matter what percent you play at. You're gonna to have to play more battles if your energy capture rate is lower. Um, to get the same rewards, but you're not missing out anything other than maybe some extra time spent there. So we're going to drain your ECR down to whatever number you need based on when you're going to play again. Uh, I'll kind of go over that a little more on the next slide here. But then we're going to rent out all of your cards or however, whatever cards you feel like are worth renting out, even if just renting out for power. You can rent out your cards and then make sure you start returning your cards to yourself. You cancel the rentals at least 24 hours before you need them. And then you're gonna repeat everything once again, once all your cards come back, repeat the whole process. So does that make sense? For a lot of you, that will make sense. Some of you will need it explained a little bit more. So I've got, I've, I've got a schedule here that we've laid out kind of hour by hour. So we're gonna go through the exact same thing again, but I'm going to, we're gonna go in a little more detail with the exact times here. And you don't have to use, you do not have to use these exact times, okay? So whatever times kind of fit into your schedule, you can, you can build it around this. You don't even have to plan it out this detailed, but this is just kind of an example to help you see how how things work. So our, our zero hour timeline, our timeline starts when the quest begins, when our first quest begins, okay? So 18 hours after that, we're going to rent in our cards, okay? We're going to rent in everything we need. If you don't need any card to rent any cards, great, you're awesome, skip the step. 
And we're gonna say we complete the first quest at 20 hours. It doesn't matter when you complete it, but you wanna complete it before hour 23, because then you, you start losing out if you go past that. So, at hour 23, because we've completed the quest, quest number two unlocks. We're going to complete quest two pretty much immediately. So here it's at, we're gonna say hour 25 is when it gets completed. And then we're gonna keep playing and drain our ECR below 55%. So here I've chosen 55%, because if we skip over, if we, if we kind of look into the future here, we're going to see that we're going to start playing again at hour 68. So we're going to take a 42 hour break where we are not playing the game, okay? Not playing active battles in the game anyways. So remember, ECR regenerates at 25% per day or a little bit over 1% per hour. So at 42 hours, you're going to use up about, you're going to get about 45% ECR back. We don't want to, we don't want that to go up to 100, right? because then, then we're missing out. So that's why we drain it below 55%. If you don't wanna play that much to drain it that low, you could cut out some times and start a little bit sooner, and then you don't have to drain as much at one time. But again, this is just an example. This is just a, an example. You don't have to use these exact, exact hours, okay? So after we have drained our energy as low as we want it to go, we've completed the two quests, we are now going to rent out our cards, okay? Rent out your cards and get a little bit of extra income. Even the cards that you're playing with that you want to battle with. As long as there's not like a brawl or a tournament or something like that that you're actively trying to compete in, you're going to rent out your cards, okay? So in this example, I've given 14 hours for people to pick up our rentals, and we're going to go ahead and start pulling our cards back at, at hour 40. So we're gonna go cancel our rentals. You're gonna be that evil person that cancels rentals on people, okay? Do not feel bad about that. Okay, no matter how many people you see in Discord that get mad because you canceled a rental, remember that you cannot choose to just rent a card out for one day. If we could do that, that's what we would do here. Maybe in the future you're watching this video and you have the option to specify that you only want to rent the card out for one day. If that's the case, do that, great. But otherwise, go ahead and cancel your rentals and do not feel bad about canceling your rentals, okay? That's the only way you can guarantee that you only rent out for a day right now is to rent it out and then go cancel it, okay? All right, have we, have we hit that home yet? Do not feel bad about canceling your rentals. Okay, so at hour 42, that's when the cards that we rented are going to expire. Nothing to do there, just kind of a, a note. 47, hour 47, quest three unlocks. So, quest three unlocks, but remember, we still have 23 hours to complete that, okay? So it's unlocked, but you don't necessarily need to complete it until hour 70. So. At hour 64 in this case, that's when the rental, the last of our rental cards are going to expire. They'll probably expire a little bit before that, but by hour 64, since you canceled them at hour 40, all of your cards are going to be back. You're going to be able to play with them now, okay? So at hour 68, you can rent, start renting your cards in again and repeat the whole cycle. You'll have two hours to complete your quest and you can place quest one then you'll be able to complete quest two and you'll go through the entire thing again. So let's look at this example, example what we did. This is three days worth and we basically only rented. So in these, in these 68, 70 hours, whatever it is, we've only rented for like 26, 28 of them, depending on whether, whether where you're cutting, cutting out there. But see at rent at, uh, Hour 42 there is when the cards that we rented expired and you're not renting them back for another 26 hours. You cut out 26 hours of rental time. So you've cut your, you've cut the amount of time that you're renting your cards in half. You've cut your rental expenses in half. Plus you've gained anything, any uh, income from renting out your cards. Is this making sense here? Is, are, are you guys seeing where we're going with this? By, by playing in, by playing in bulk, on a certain day and being able to complete both your quests within a rental within within that 24 hour rental period you can you can really maximize your rental income okay it works very very well and then again the thing that can throw a wrench into all this is if you're doing brawls if you're doing tournaments now like with brawls you've got you've got a lot of time so there's there, there's plenty of time to complete those make sure now with brawls make sure that your rental you, you want to make sure that you're not entering a brawl and then renting out your cards or losing your rental cards and then the brawl is being decided later because you'll actually there, there's there's kind of a bug there where i guess i don't know if this bug or working as intended or how they mean for it but it'll actually count as a flea if that battle is settled while you don't have the cards 
So that doesn't happen for tournaments anymore, but it does happen with Brawl. So just kind of a note here, if you're using this, be very cautious there. Make sure that's that's planned accordingly. Um, or if you want to play in tournaments, make sure you're able to submit your tournament battles during this time. But outside of those, you're you're going to really maximize your income here by by using a strategy similar to this. And, and again, you can you can cut down the schedule however it works. So here again, we left 14 hours in there for people to pick up our rentals. You can maybe price things at a lower price to make sure they go out, or just if they don't go out, they don't go out. Don't don't worry about it and just kind of pull everything back. You can pull everything back 10 hours earlier and push the whole schedule up 10 hours if that works better for you. It doesn't matter, you can adjust things, but this is kind of the concept, okay? And hopefully that makes a lot of sense and you guys can go use this to spend less on rentals and earn more, earn more in the game. All right, that's the ultimate goal, right? Is to earn more in the game, whether it's to, to cash out or no, it's to go buy new cards. That's what you wanna do, buy new cards. That's me, okay? I'm Anything I can get on buying new cards or staking SPS, uh, one of those two. It's all going back in the game because I wanna progress more. I wanna get everything. That's, that's never gonna happen. But <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, there's too many cards out there, but I'll get more, okay? I'll progress and get more. So, all right now, I know this is kinda, uh, yeah, I think you guys got the point like five minutes ago, right? Hopefully everything is crystal clear. If not, come by our Discord, leave me comments here, whatever the case is, and uh, and we'll try to try to help. But this is a great way, a great way that anybody can maximize their, their earnings. And again, it doesn't matter what percentage of cards you're renting out, what percentage of cards you actually own and can rent out yourself. Anybody who is actually playing the game can take advantage of this and earn more. So let me know what you think, guys. I hope you can go utilize this to your advantage and start making more. I'll see you guys. We've got something big coming tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe. Do not miss it.